In this sentence, what I like to do is start with the third blank first. And let's actually read through it and see why this is the best thing to do. To the untutored eye, the tightly forested Ardennes hills around Sedan look quite blank. Blank place through which to advance a modern army. Even with today's more numerous and better roads and bridges, the woods in the river Moisa form a significant blank. So what's the problem going on here? Well, the problem is the first and second blank really don't have too much in terms of clues. Maybe it's a, a good place through which to advance a modern army. We don't know. It's only when we read after the semicolon where we see it says, even today's with today's more numerous and better roads and bridges, do we realize that, hey, I see these woods are forming a significant block or obstacle. Even though we have better roads and bridges, it's still hard to get through them. So we can start with that third blank first and we can start with a significant block, and then let's, that was that would be a block to one's comprehension, that, my penmanship there. But there's block. Now we need a word that's a synonym for block, and we look the third blank, and we arrive at h, impediment. And again, your own word could have been obstacle. Doesn't really matter. Just mean the same thing. And of course, they're both synonyms for impediment. Now, the reason why this is important is because it's really easy to get stuck on the first or second blank, keep reading over and over again, start plugging in words, get up flustered, and then, you know, game over. So here we actually looked for the clue and realized it was in the la last part of the sentence. And we started with a third blank. Once we've done that, we can work backwards and it's not as bad. Well, why? Well, these hills look quite blank, and they look like what sort of place? A good or bad place to pass a modern army? Well, if they form an obstacle, it looks like a bad place. So we look at the second blank. Uh-oh, lots of vocab words. Well, which word means bad or not good? Okay, well, makeshift. You think of makeshift in context. Someone just comes up with something on the spot. Doesn't sound like the woods are makeshift. Unremarkable. I'm looking here at answer choice F. Is that the same as saying something that's bad, it's not good in terms of allowing you to go through, and the answer is no. So it has to be E, unpropitious. Now, if you know your GRE vocab, you should know propitious. It's one of those words that comes up a lot. And of course, if you know propitious, which means favorable, unpropitious is not favorable. So basically, it's not a good place to try to pass a modern army through. So we have ended up with H for the third blank, E for the second blank, and for the first blank shouldn't be too hard because we know it's a bad place to pass through or cross through because you can't go through it. Therefore, it is impenetrable. And there are three answers.